back with another video for you today and this is a house I've not spoken about on the channel I'm kind of trying to continue doing my previews of houses that I haven't spoken about on the channel here although I have spoken about for pan before but on the older channel and that channel is no longer and the fragrances I once spoke quite highly of were 1270 and Speakeasy by Frappan. Today I'm talking about 1270, but also I'm curious about Bois Blanc. So I had reached out to the USA distributor of uh, Frappan to do a video on this house, a profile of three of their fragrances. So today I'm speaking about 1270, I'm speaking about Bois Blanc, the latest release, and then also Frappan's If by RK. Also, I'll let you know where you can buy these fragrances as a full 100 ml bottle, or as decants or samples to test them out prior to buying a full bottle. So if you're curious to learn about 1270 Bois Blanc and If by RK, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. How many of you know about Frappan? Now, those of you that are cognac drinkers probably know about Frappan because Frappan is known for cognac uh, making. And then, of course, they have fragrances. They have tons of fragrances, but seems like Speakeasy, one of my favorites, is not currently distributed here in the States. But 1270 is, which is one of the ones I'm going to speak to you about here. That's this one right here. Very delicious, inspired by a cognac. Uh, I guess uh, to me it does remind me of uh, sipping on it because I, I occasionally do sip on cognac or armagnac when I'm traveling. But there is 1270 and of course I'm talking about Bois Blanc as well. Very, very sexy woody fragrance, very masculine leaning. Uh, that's another one I'm going to talk to you about today. And then uh, If by RK, this one, one that's kind of a fruity, sandal woody fragrance. So these are the three fragrances I'm speaking about by Frappan. You can get them at Scent Split, which I have a link to in the info box. And you can get the 100 ml bottle for 165 and then there are also samples or decant sizes from one milliliter to nine ml all there so all that information is there for you to click on to go there and check it out but before I get to the review on the three fragrances if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways so if you are a fan of this house let me know which is your favorite fragrance from um, for pan but i figured i'd start off with one of my favorite uh, fragrances from this house called 1270 that's this one right here i've been wearing quite a bit of it the fragrances were sent to me by the way as i said i reached out to the distributor the usa distributor of Frappan, and uh these were sent to me the three fragrances for me to speak about to you guys but as i said i have worn 1270 before and speakeasy in the past as well i like my boozy fragrances gourmand kind of fragrances and this was definitely one i wanted to let you guys know all about. So 1270 was launched in 2010 and that's kind of why I was wearing it quite a bit back in 2012, 2013, and 2014. And I kind of like dropped and I think I couldn't figure out where to buy the fragrances from Frappan here in the States. And I would always see them at Javoy in Paris when I travel there, but uh, sadly they weren't available. Now they are distributed here again, and as I said, you can pick them up at Scent Split with the link in the info box. You can head over there and check it out. But this is a 2010 launch. Perfumer is Sedoni Lancisseur. The notes are for top, we've got candied orange, nuts, raisins, plum, cocoa, tonka bean, coffee, heart notes, vine flowers, everlasting flowers, linden, pepper, spices. Finally, in the base notes, we've got precious woods, guyac wood, white honey, and vanilla. So 1270 is named because this is the year 1270 that Frappan started creating cognac. Now, I've actually traveled through cognac and have visited a few di distillery, uh, cognac distilleries there a long time ago when I was first starting to travel in France. And I didn't see Frappan there. And I didn't even uh, know about it at the time when I went there. But I've always loved the idea idea of gourmandish boozy fragrances inspired by liqueurs or spirits and drinks like that. So they've actually cap captured this one here perfectly. For me, this one is actually not 
overly boozy and it hints at booze a little bit but for me it actually brings out the when you're actually sipping on the booze the cognac or any uh, kind of a spirit you, the, the the flavors in there that you get outside of the booze is captured here perfectly so for me this one uh, is a very honeyed and ambery experience uh, with a vanillic touches fruity touches are pretty prominent and this one I get lots of raisins and lots of plums now if you like the idea of plums and fragrances definitely um, one for you to try but what they've done here for me is as I said I don't get the booziness much with its light hints of it almost like the experience of uh, the reverse like you're experiencing more of a gourmand experience with booze added to it almost like a fruit cake you know when you have all these uh, notes of the fruits and the nuts because this is also quite nutty of uh, vanillic it's honeyed you're experiencing kind of like a fruit cakey experience where you get the hints of the booze but it's more about the other kind of you know gourmand notes and the nuts and the fruits and things like that. It's a very, very delicious fragrances and I think Sidoni Lancesur does some great work. She's done a lot of great fragrances for by Killian and I'm, I'm a fan of her uh, fragrances and I've been a fan of this one for, for quite a long time. As I said, I hadn't spoken about it uh, for a while but uh, I wanted to highlight it as a great, slightly boozy, leaning kind of a gourmand fragrance. So if you don't know this, do check it out. Um, it's from the house of Frappan, as I said, and they do make some great fragrances and of course obviously they make some great uh, Cognacs as well, and I think they've done a great job capturing the idea of uh, Cognac here in a way that it's gourmand and slightly boozy at the same time So that's 1270. Let me know if you're a fan of 1270 from Frappan Let me know if you know the brand and what are your favorite fragrances put a comment down so I can find out So when I reached out to the distributor of uh, Frappan here in the States, I was very very curious about Bois Blanc because I was looking through the databases and seeing what fragrances brands have and initially as I said I wanted to highlight Speakeasy but the Speakeasy is not distributed here but this one oh my god I am so surprised at how great this is first blast when I you know tested it out I was like wow I really really love the way this fragrance uh, smells it smells great out of the bottle it smells so good on me it does lean masculine it's ultra woody and it's very spicy uh, with that kind of bitter orange note in there that's kind of amped up so it hints at some other fragrances but obviously it's not identical it has its own unique characteristic but boy man it's really really great to wear I really really love it and it's very very classy uh, masculine it definitely leans masculine to me it's not overly uh, unisex um, I would I mean it's unisex as a fragrance but the notes seem uh, masculine to me but it wears perfectly especially when it's cool outside a little breezy um, uh, it's perfection I think so this is a 2020 launch the perfumer is Anne Sophie Behagel I think that's how you say her name the same perfumer of the next fragrance we're going to speak about as well and this one features notes of bitter orange mandarin eucalyptus rosemary ginger for top notes. Heart notes features sage, Virginian cedar, violet leaf note. And finally in the base notes, Gayak wood, Cade wood. So as I said, it wears perfectly. It's ultra masculine. If I want something woody, spicy, warm, and light fresh hints as well, this is the kind of uh, fragrance I would pull for. Now there's one note that I don't pick, uh, me see mentioned in the notes that I'm picking up. There's a very spicy, slight uh, caraway-like notes quality in here that kind of crackles and sparkles as I'm wearing it. So that adds this unique uh, characteristic to the fragrance, this unique uh, quality that I quite like. But the fragrance experience is overly woody and very aromatic. There's spiciness, the ginger is very very spicy zingy here and definitely herbal aromatic as I said but that orange note is is prominent it's really really prominent here uh, and it really does contrast with with the woods and the spices that's definitely here uh, in the mix the bitter orange note um, in comparison to other citruses like bergamot or lemons there's actually a slight ambery touch about this fragrance. Also, it's not overly 
tart. It's not overly sweet. It's kind of bitter, sweet, tart at the same time. So it's the perfect combination and contrast to what the fragrance settles as to the woodiness of the fragrance because it's an overly woody fragrance, as I said, and it's really, really pleasant to wear. Now this one, as I was really pleasantly surprised. I looked up the notes and I was very, very curious about it. And sometimes you receive fragrances, they, they turn out to be Okay, that's that's what they've done with it. Okay, uh, and you forget about it. But I'm definitely not forgetting about this one. I find it to be you know overly quality, and I love the way it smells off of me, how it projects off of me. It has some sexiness to it. You know, I quite like it. So that's Bois Blanc, the latest release from Frappin. Uh, and of course, I have a link to it in the info box. You can go to Scent Split to check out more information about Bois Blanc. And finally, the last fragrance from Frappin that I'm talking about today is If by RK, a 2019 launch launch. And this one to me, once again, same perfumer, Sophie Behagel, but this is known for sandalwood. So the top notes here are ginger, pepper, bergamot, heart notes, fig milk, cinnamon, cashmere, base notes, sandalwood, patchouli, guyac wood, and tonka bean. So for me, If by RK is that beautiful sandalwood fragrance experience. Very creamy, very cozy. And of course, the sandalwood uh, stage is the base, but I feel like the fragrance uh, is very, very creamy, cozy throughout the whole life of the fragrance, especially since we've got the fig milk and the heart notes, which is a beautiful complement to the creamy milkiness of the sandalwood note. But the fragrance starts off very zingy, spicy with ginger, some spice of the pepper. Not necessarily too citrusy for me, this, I didn't experience too much citrusy touches with it, but of course I do experience the cinnamony touch here. There's some spice, kind of a warm spice, which adds a, a warmth to the fragrance. And then of course uh, the, the entire wearing experience just became a very cre creamy, cozy, woody experience. It does get a little powdery here, but just a beautiful, uh, very, very cozy, woody experience. As I said, this one is not necessarily overly masculine. It is woody once again. It does lean masculine, but not so much as Bois Blanc, but that's not a bad thing. I enjoy these kind of fragrances and it's a perfect woody sandalwood experience here. Now, if I was to rank these two fragrances, I'm really, really loving Bois Blanc here. Um, I'm gonna just be honest with uh, what I'm thinking about the fragrances. I love this one so much because it's just that little caraway seed like quality or a chord that's created here is a phenomenal. I really love it and I love wearing it. And you know, I have no problem wearing overly masculine fragrances and some feminine fragrances, but I've spoken so much about 1270 on the old channel. Um, and even though I really love this kind of fragrance, I'm digging what's new here by Frappin. With the If by RK though, if you're wanting that kind of a sandal woody, creamy, cozy, woody experience, definitely try this one. And the RK I believe stands for Rudyard, uh, Rudyard Kipling. So it's inspired with uh, this particular author. Either way though, great fragrances from Frappin. I want to explore more from this house, uh, see what else they have. Um, sad that there's no place for me to go check these out, but hopefully some place soon will have them close by and I can go smell the entire collection. Again, these fragrances are available at Scent Split. It's 165 for 100 ml, and they also sell samples in up to 9 milliliter decants at Scent Split. And I have a link in the info box. You can go there and check them out. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's review video on three fragrances from Frappin. Those are. 1270 Bois Blanc and also If by RK. Let me know if you're a fan of this house. Let me know if you've never heard of this house. Do you, do you know that Frappin is known for cognac and then also fragrances? Put some comments down so I can find out. Uh, as I said, appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Otherwise, please like this video, please share it, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>